Hello, Idea Harlingen first grade scholars. It is now time for some homework. We are doing worksheet three. If you look at the first page, remember at the very top, it says name with a line. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to write your name. Go. All right, scholars. Now we are looking at the picture. Do you see the little girl? Does it look like she's walking or running? Yes, running. She likes to run, right? You see the big happy smile on her face? But who is she carrying? Is that a dog or is that a cat? Yes, a cat. And what is the cat doing? Is the cat eating ice cream? Or is the cat just wearing a hat? Yes, the cat is wearing a hat. Awesome job, scholars. So right here, we're going to do the three sentences so we can find out the word that we need to finish writing. Follow along and read with me. Number one, get ready. The girl likes to Remember when we said if she likes to walk or run? We are going to write the word run. We already have the written down. We still need the next sounds. The next sound would be from uh. Can you write the uh sound? Our next sound for the word uh, n would be n. Can you write the n sound? Sound it out. Get ready. Say it fast. Run. Yes. Run. The second one. She has a k. Remember, does she have a dog or a cat? Yes, cat. We want to write the word cat. The first sound in cat is already there. K. The next sound would be at. Ah. Can you write the sound at? Ah. The next sound would be t. Can you write the word Sound it out. Get ready. K at. Say it fast. Cat. Yes. Cat. Now the third one. The cat has a. Remember I asked if the cat was eating ice cream or if it had a hat on? Yes, it has a hat. We want to write the word hat. The first sound in the word hat is already there. The next sound would be ah. Can you write the ah sound? The next sound would be t. Can you write the t sound? 
Sound it out. Get ready. At. Say it fast. Hat. Yes. Hat. Nice job, scholars. Now you see a picture of a little girl painting, right? And she's with her dog. And they're really close by. Or we can say they are near the lake. They look so relaxed. Now that we saw our picture, time to fill out the missing word. The first one. Follow along and read with me. A G is near the lake. A G. Hmm. Who do we say was near the lake? That sounds with G. The girl. Very nice job, scholars. A girl. When we write girl, it has the I sound written next, but it's a little silent because we can't really hear the I sound. Can you write the I sound? Our next sound would be R. Can you write the R sound? The next sound would be U. Can you write the U? When we sound it out, it sounds like this. G. R. O. Again, when you sound it out, it sounds like this. G. R. O. One more time. Listen. G. R. O. Say it with me. Get ready. G. R. O. Say it fast. Get ready. Girl. Yes. Girl. Our second sentence says, She has a d. Hmm. Who does she have with her? That, so that sounds with d. Very nice job, scholars. Her dog, right? The first sound in dog is d. Let's listen to the next sound. D. Ah. Uh, can you write the ah uh, sound? The next sound would be d. Ah. Uh, it would be g. Can you write the g sound? Sound it out. Get ready. D. Ah. Uh, Say it fast. Dog. Yes, dog. If you turn the page, you will see the second part of it. You have six sounds that you will be writing. Nice and pretty, just like this picture. Say the sounds with me. Get ready. I, mm, u, s, t. 
And thank you for saying the sounds with me, scholars. Our next part under the line, it has a sentence. Read it with me. Get ready. He had a paint can. Again, one more time. He had a paint can. Nice reading, scholars. Do you see the next four lines that are blank? You are going to be awesome because you are going to write that sentence four times. And don't forget, scholars, make sure you put the period at the end of the sentence. You see the dot at the end? That is the period. It's very important to put a period because if we put the period, we know that's when the sentence ends. When you finish doing that, scholars, you may go and color the pictures very pretty on the other side. Remember, Mr. Garcia always says, Idea Harlingen scholars read 30 minutes every day. We do whatever it takes. Go Hornets. See you tomorrow.